Let's look at the two main types of waves, transverse and longitudinal. In a transverse wave, the vibrations of the particles are perpendicular to the direction the wave is moving. Imagine a wave on a rope or ripples on the surface of water. The wave moves forward, but the water moves up and down. That's perpendicular motion. Other examples of transverse waves include light waves, water ripples, and S waves from earthquakes. In a longitudinal wave, the vibrations of the particles are parallel to the direction the wave travels. Think of a slinky being pushed and pulled along the floor. The coils move back and forth in the same direction the wave travels. Examples of longitudinal waves include sound waves, compression waves in a spring, and P waves during an earthquake. Let's take a slinky. If you shake it side to side or up and down, you get a transverse wave. If you push and pull it along its length, you're creating a longitudinal.